Hello everyone, thank you for tuning in. My name is David A. Kwa and welcome to my YouTube channel. If you're a new visitor to my YouTube channel, you may want to check out my other content, especially if you like things like movies, books, and video games. I do hauls, reviews, collections, unboxings. If that's the type of thing that you're into, you may want to check out my other content and do subscribe. Uh, today we're going to take a look at my small collection of the Pop Funko figures. I'm pretty sure you've seen these in stores before. They're like everywhere. Like I, I just recently went to a Comic Con, right? Empower Comic Con in uh, Topeka, Kansas. And uh, every other vendor had one of these guys, you know. They, they had like walls of it. And I go to like, um, like the different gaming stores and, you know, pop culture comic book shops and stuff like that. And they would have like an entire wall filled with these things, you know. So if you want to start your own collection, there is a ton of characters to choose from. But uh, this is my little collection. Uh, I actually don't like to... I, I, I like them, but I don't want to start having a huge collection of these because they do take up a lot of space compared to like, you know, a flat, you know, DVD box, you know, a gaming box and stuff. So that's why I collect more DVDs and Blu-rays and video games because, you know, they come in flat cases. These things take up a lot of space. Um, but I'm going to tell you guys the ones I do have. You can already see from the little heads which ones I have already. And uh, I'm going to explain why I chose to get these characters and not others and stuff like that. So it's going to be interesting. You're going to learn a little bit about me and uh, why I chose these characters and, you know, well, you know my, my love for their particular franchises and stuff like that. <clears throat> We're going to go through every single character. I've seen people, they have, you go into rooms, and they have like shelves and walls of these things. But uh, I honestly, I, I can. I, honestly, I, I, I can have a huge collection of it, but I just don't, <laughs> I, I just don't have the, the, you know, the motivation to. I, I, I just want to pick some of my favorite characters and just stick with that, okay? Um, each of these are probably... 10 ish dollars like I bought some of these for like five bucks and others for like 15 you know and they come in like different sizes too like they come in vehicles and stuff like that also but uh <clears throat> like the Batman one I have a Batman one right there it, there is a Batmobile that comes that 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 you can set them into and stuff like that but I, I don't want to get too much into it you know I've seen people have like huge gigantic collections you can go on YouTube just press in pop fun Funko pop figures and they'll have like huge collections of it but this is my collection. This is what I have. So you're probably even sitting here waiting for me to uh, to talk. It's been you know it's almost been three minutes. And let's go ahead and get started. Show you which figures I have. I just recently got this one today. Call of Duty Fungal Pops. Okay, this one is Ghost from uh, Modern Warfare 2. He's actually my favorite character. I did see the other ones here. Like I saw the zombie. I saw Frank Woods from Black Ops. Okay. And I saw Captain uh, John Price from also from Modern Warfare series. Actually, he was in the uh, the old World War II ones also. But I really want Ghost because he looks more cooler, right? It's too bad what happened to him in the Modern Warfare 2. Uh, they actually have a comic book series and stuff like that, and they had like a like a mini spin-off. Like Call of Duty Ghost is kind of inspired from this character. I like Ghost, okay? So I got Ghost because he looks cool. Does he have eyes? Yes, he does. <laughs> he has eyes, little big eyes in there. So yeah. There it is, Call of Duty. This is uh, number 70, apparently. Okay. So the next one I have here. <clears throat> I'm pretty sure you know why I chose this one. I love Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles and actually have a Raphael collection. Like, I have every single figure of Raphael. Uh, and, uh, <clears throat> of course, I gotta get one for the Pop ones also. So, I did see all of them in the stores. You know, I saw Donatello and Michelangelo and Leonardo. And also Splinter and Shredder. They actually have a... Uh, April and such too, but uh, I just want to have Raphael because he's my the primary character in my collections. Okay, he's my favorite. Well, he's not my favorite turtle, but he's the turtle I I focus on. Okay, so here it is, <clears throat> Ninja Turtles. The next one we have here, twelve ninety nine. You see that the prices go up and down. Like some of these figures I got for eight bucks, five, ten. You know, they they, they jump around in price depending on who you shop. You know, at uh, comic cons, flea markets, vendors. You go to GameStop; they would have it too. You know, um, Assassin's Creed Three, Connor. Now you're probably wondering why I chose Connor because I did see him. I did see Ezio. Um, I saw well, he, well, he's not on here, but I saw Arno from uh, from Unity, and uh, I saw Elise from uh, Unity also. Um, I also saw um, Jacob and Evie Fry at GameStop. You know. Um, but I, I chose Connor because I don't have anything else that's Connor related. I have an Arno action figure, like a six inch Arno, and I got Shay, uh, I got a 
375 inch figure of uh, Ezio. I got a little mini figure of uh, Edward Kenway. So I got I, I, I wanted a figure of some sort, something that's not the actual game of uh, an Assassin's Creed character that uh, I don't I don't have. So I got I got Connor. Plus it looks cool. You know he's got the little eagle on, on his on his uh, hood there and stuff. And he's like blue instead of red, and it's not so dark colors. Like he really stands out and stuff like that. So that's why I chose Connor. Okay, and he's probably going to be. I don't know. If, if, I, if, if I want to collect more, I know where to look for him, okay? Like the vintage stock close to my house has a lot of uh, a lot of these guys. And uh, he has like a couple Ezio's that I can get, choose from. I want to talk about these two characters together. Of course, there's a new Batman v Superman movie coming out this, uh, this like, next month. Yeah, it's coming out next month. I don't know when you're watching this video, but I'm recording on the middle of February, okay? Um, Batman and Superman, I gotta have both characters. This is the Batman Arkham Knight version from the video game. I did play the game on stream for everyone, on live stream, on YouTube, and on Twitch. And everyone loved that, that gameplay, you know. I would take bathroom breaks and forget to mute my mic so he would hear me <laughs> in the bathroom and stuff. And here's Superman, of course. This is like the original Superman, I think. Pop Heroes, number seven. Cool, right? Yeah, I haven't been looking at the numbers. But there is Batman and Superman, okay. Gotta have these characters. <clears throat> we got Yoda. And this Yoda is actually different than all the other figures because he's actually a bobblehead. That's right. And a lot of Marvel characters are, are bobbleheads too. They're, 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 there's a lot of them. There are bobbleheads. And they have little bases. You see they have a base. All the other characters here, they stand on their own. You don't have bases. But this Yoda here has a base. <laughs> uh, I think the one of the most uh, biggest appeal for these guys is that they look... You know, their big eyes make him look very cute, you know. I actually do have a War Machine one a long time ago. I don't have it anymore, but I gave it, I gave, I gave it as, as a gift. Uh, they, they make good good presents, you know, for Christmas and birthdays and stuff like that. You know, it's very nice, nice shape and stuff like that. It's already in a box. You can wrap it up really nicely. So I gave my Marvel War Machine away to uh, to my cousin. Okay. And he likes it. I, I saw him display it in his room. I have these together. <clears throat> See, these are like $9 at GameStop. I have, for the, from the Bioshock series, Elizabeth from Bioshock Infinite, the third game. And I got a little sister from the original Bioshock. These, these are the characters that you save and stuff, you know. So these are both from Bioshock. <clears throat> there's, a, there's a Big Daddy that's huge, right? There's also Booker DeWitt. And he's got like different, like he has a sky hook for this one. This one's just holding his little shotgun or whatever. So yeah, I, I just wanted something Bioshock related for my upcoming Bioshock collection video. They just announced it for, for next gen, by the way. They're going to have a little collection set for, for PS4 and all, all that. So I, I think I will get it, but not right away because I already played these games, you know. <clears throat> there it is. Bioshock figures. <clears throat> now, as everyone knows, I like aliens. And uh, I have other figures and uh, I have a collection of alien stuff. About the quadrilogy on DVD and stuff like that. And I'm looking forward to the new movie that's coming out very, very soon. So I got the alien ones. He looks super cute. Look at that. <laughs> Has the little, little mouth popping out of it, too. So yeah, that's pretty cool. I, I wanted this figure so bad just because <clears throat> he just looks so unique. Like, I wouldn't expect them to do aliens of this one, you know? But uh, these Funko Pop guys, the vinyl figures, they're... they. they they don't discriminate on any, any uh, type of franchise, you know? There's like uh, Rocky Horror Movie Show, a Rocky Horror Picture Show, and uh, they have like sitcoms on TV and stuff like that. Like, they have everything, you know? It's not like just video games or just comic books or whatever. It's like all, all sorts of different franchises. <clears throat> of course, everyone knows my love for Robocop. I made like a DVD review video on my YouTube and everyone loves it, you know, th there's a lot of views on that video. And of course, I, I love Robocop and his look right here. <clears throat> Number 22. There he is, Robocop. And they did use this look briefly in the new movie. I don't know if that new movie is going to have a sequel or not. I haven't heard anything about that. <clears throat> okay. Everyone knows about my uh, recent obsession with Doctor Who. I make haul videos every month of Doctor Who stuff. Uh, this is the regular Dalek. There's like another Dalek that's like a, a GameStop exclusive. Like it has the open and you can see the creature inside and stuff. 
I thought about buying it, but I was like, eh, I just want the regular Dalek, you know? And I, 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 I honestly don't want to start a huge collection of these things just sitting around my room. I just, right, right now, I'll, I'll, be honest, I'll, I'll, I'll be honest with you. I don't know where to put these guys. <laughs> like, I'm actually clearing up space on my DVD collection just to put these guys in. Because they're actually about the, like, a DVD is like that big, you know? This is about the size of a Blu-ray box and stuff. And I'm like, I guess all my shelves is the best place. Like, I line them up like this, you know? <clears throat> but, uh... Yeah, I don't know where to put these guys, but I'm collecting them. I, I, I have no room for them. <laughs> so, uh, Harley Quinn, you've seen this before. I have a Harley Quinn collection. So there it is. I got the original Harley Quinn. This one has her with a gun. There's also another one where she, yeah, there's another one where she's holding a, a mallet. And there's also one from the Arkham series and, you know, from her comic book look and, like, the more, uh, you know, her in more skimpier outfits and whatever. So there it is. Last two here. As some of you may know, I like Alice in Wonderland. So when they made this one from the Alice in Wonderland, the Mia Wasikowska one, I had to buy her. And then here's the regular Alice, you know, from Alice in Wonderland, the animated movie. So I got both Alice's, both live action and the animated versions here. Okay. Pretty cool. <clears throat> Alright, so those are the ones I have. Here, let me set them up for you guys again. There you go. Well, thank you for watching everyone. Rate, comment, favorite, and subscribe. Do you like this video? You want me to collect more and give you guys like a monthly update from now on? Like, every single month from now on, I can pick up a new new character and add it to the collection. We, we can do that, you know? Maybe do, like, haul videos. Oh, look at all the ones I got this month, you know? So, yeah, this is this could be, like, a new new series of videos, or it can be, like, a one-off thing, you know? This is all I'll ever collect. So, thank you for watching, everyone. Rate, comment, favorite, and subscribe. Talk to you guys later.